Hello and welcome back to the Notts County Challenge. This is now episode 54. We've had a short break. Uh, I was playing a bit of a Guardians of the Galaxy and then now I've actually gone to the Game of Thrones as well so I've kind of uh, forgot about this for a few moments. Please by all means check uh, the, other, the other games I'm playing at the moment or have played. I know Guardians uh, episode 3 is up now so that'll be out shortly. At the moment I throw myself into Go Game of Thrones but but today is all about um, Football Manager and uh, we have got an FA Cup game to play. So from the last games that we played, after the heroic win against West Ham, we won 4-3. We went on to play Barnsley, we drew 1-1 at home. That is a disappointing game, especially on the back of uh, beating West Ham. As you can see, Barnsley were all over us and we... Even though we scored early on, we just couldn't hold off much longer. So it was unfortunate, but we got away with a draw. And then we went away to Rotherham. Rotherham were bottom of the table. And I think we absolutely beat them. Well, I'll say we absolutely beat them. We had more possession than them, yes. Shots, no. But our target to shot ratio was much, much better than theirs. And as you can see, Nathan scored. And um, Alex Reid will be back on the score sheet as well. Now, because of that, we're going to put him and Campbell up front, I think, for this game. We just show the table to see where we are. We are actually lying in third spot, which is phenomenal. Uh, we're top place for the playoffs. A win in the league again could put us just a couple of points behind Norwich after that but uh, we are doing really really well which is um, very very unexpected and as you can see the average ratings Rob Dickey is actually second in the table for that 7.33 which is really good disappointing that we haven't got any of our goal scorers up there but I think it's all around at the moment is it who and when can score I don't care at this moment in time it will be nice to get a player that's about 20 goal a season, but uh, but that can come later on. So, the team that we're going to face off against Man City today, we are away from home. We're going to hopefully do what we did against um, West Ham, where we drew away. We have Phillips in goal. We have Dickie at right back, as opposed to being in the centre, which seems to be his favoured position, which I found quite weird, but... If that's where he wants to play and that's where his ratings are coming from, then he can stay there. Uh, we have Kirchhoff and Gillespie in the middle with Field on the left back. We have Digby sitting in front of them. Maxwell and Hyam in midfield with Rolls in the attacking midfielder role with Reed and Campbell up front. Man City on a good run as well, as you can see down below, in the bottom right. They beat Fiorentina in a way, must have been in the Champions League. Drew with Villa. So a bit similar to what we had really. They beat Tottenham, United and Bournemouth in the last three home games. So we are probably expecting them to <laughs> beat us. But saying that, we played them in the semi-final last year. And we uh, we gave them a fright. Yes, we went 3-0 down, but we came back 3-2. And we could almost snatched to go into extra time. But that was last year. This time, it's the, early the, F it's the fifth round this time. So some of the games are already played. Man United are through. 3-1 against Sunderland. Right, Eurosport. They fancy Man City to win this one. Well, I would expect them to win it as well. Iniacho is their main man. 10 goals in 18 games. Wow. Tom Field is ours. We've only conceded 22 and 20. Well, what happened to Dickey? Dickey is normally our main guy. And he's playing. Both teams coming to this one in good form. How do you rate your chances ahead of kickoff? They're a good team. We're going to be relish the challenge of keeping our good form going whilst putting a decent... Yes, I think we can do this. What are your thoughts on Sheffield United, part and company? I don't care. There's already a significant a talking point about the absence of Lesniak. How does, why does he not play? Didn't look sharp in training. Uh, suffered the defeat last time they met Man City. How would that affect the game? We want to win every match, of course. Iniache and Ray. Who's he then? Brazilian. Up front. Oh, see that. Oh, it looks like the village just 
got him or they've had him for a while or he's been out on lane and actually going back so he's scored one in two. Oh well. So they're more defensive. Embolo's there as well. De Bruyne, Piera, Stones, Ramirez, Joe Hart still in goal. I, you know what? They're gonna get have this come on to them, I reckon. Mark Crossley, what have you got? Making in the Ache tight, marking him, him tightly at all times should improve our chances of winning. Well, would I like to think we can get a bit more than that? Ah, that's better. In the Ache, we'll change that to always and hard. Make sure he knows that we're there. Should challenge the team to pick off where they left off. Okay, let's passionately say, come on, lads, show everyone what you can do. Oh, okay. Um, right, assertive say, look, um, pressure's off today, play your natural game. No, we're going to go with a bit of faith here. We know, what, we think you got what it takes. Well, we know you got what it takes, not think. That's really bad. Right, let's start this game. Let's skip the formalities and let's kick off. Man City left to right, De Bruyne has it. I'm hoping that we can go out and avenge the semi-final defeat. And that was close. Corner comes it. Oh, penalty. <laughs> wow. Luke Hyam. Yellow card straight away. Didn't even give us a chance really to get into the game, did it really? Who's this taking it? Stones. Oh yes, fantastic save. So another corner, De Bruyne with it again. Ball comes over, well out. Kirkhoff with a great header. Ramirez picks it up on the edge. It comes to nothing, end of highlight. Excellent, oh, another corner. What's happened there? Oh, foul by Maxwell this time. What is it about giving penalties at corners? And Bolo is going to take it this time. Okay, so Stones had to go. Come on, Phillips, this time. Come on. To your bottom right, I reckon, this time. As I'm looking at the goal. That was a good, good penalty. Short run. Oh, nice boots. Is that purple boots, lilac boots? Ah, interesting. Okay, let's go back in again. So already they're all over us, <laughs> but they've only got the one goal, which is encouraging. It would be nice if we got out of our half, actually. Don't concede another penalty. Right, where's this going? Danilio. Can't see it. Oh, what a header. Oh, I thought it was an own goal. Ball comes in Cancelo. Oh, come on, if you're going to header it, who was that? Number five. Gillespie. Oh, sixes and sevens at the back. I don't think we can do much worse than this, then we're going to have to change. We'll keep it going for a few more minutes. Okay. We're doing well so far. No, I disagree. But, if it keeps them happy and in the green, they might play better. Over the top to Campbell. Oh, he's, he's on his own. Reed, where are you? Injured, that's where he is. Oh, he's actually coming off. Shin injury, oh, wonderful. Donnelly, you're going to have to come on, and I think I'm going to switch it up to 4-3-3 now, I reckon, as well. Digby, you're going to come off. You're not really doing much help at the back. And Sam Byrne, you're coming in. We've got nothing to lose. Let's see if we can give them a scale like we did last time. Would be a miracle if we came away with the draw at this point. And once again, they have another pen. It's all over. Piero. Pereira. Wow. Well, it was short-lived while it lasted. I must say we were looking against West Ham. 20 minutes to go. Okay, we'll push rolls up. 
up there and we'll bring Lesniak in for the last bit. I don't think there's much more we can do here. Another corner. The 20th corner of the game apparently. Oh great header out. That must be it. 3 now. Ah, we can't fault them. We look switched off. Ah, uh, you know what? Oh, Crossley, you've done even worse. <laughs> it just shows we're just not ready for the Premiership, which looks like it could happen. Reed, you're out to three to four months. Oh, goodness sake. You could be out to two to three. All right, well, we'll send him to the specialist then. Shin, shin splints. Liverpool go through. Arsenal go through. Chelsea go through. We want to stood a chance. Who would have been United to Liverpool, Arsenal or Chelsea? Right. We have Hull coming up. Let's move along to that game and hopefully we'll have a better time there. Right, for the side that we're going to go against Hull, we've got Grossi in goal. Dickie, Meekins, Kirkhoff and Field at the back. Digby just sitting in front of them, Lesnick and Maxwell in midfield, Nathan in the attacking midfield role with Byrne and Campbell up front. Byrne's not quite match fit, but I reckon we can. Um, we need the pair of them to our two main goal scorers for the season. We need them firing together because we need to start thinking about consolidating that playoff place. So. Hull on a run of three defeats on the bounce. I think hopefully we can make that four. Let's uh, submit the team. Notch counter on a high and the form should be enough to get them victory over Hull today. Well, I'm hoping so. They're going with a flat 4-4-2. Four, four, Mr. Crossley, motivating as ever. Uh, we'll give them a bit of faith. Faith, faith, faith. Let's start this game. Let's get the formalities and we we'll kick off. Emrickson for Hull brings it forward into the middle. Mason, somebody challenge. Oh, on the first shot already. Sharp cross, didn't even register us either. Oh, we have a corner. Lesniak, ball in. Anybody. Nathan. Oh. <laughs> wow! What a strike! Second goal of the season. Is that a second game on the bounce? Could be. Oh, obviously not the Man City game. Pinball in there and <laughs> rocketed in. And that's why you get a Brazilian. What a strike. That consolidates us in third. Dickie now has it. Maxwell back to Dickie. Campbell crosses it in. Oh, Lesniak now has it. That's his second of the season as well. Not as net bulging as uh, Nathan's, but they all count. Campbell swings it over. Oh, wow. That gives their defender that, or midfielder 19, that pins it out. We are going to exact some more misery on Hull, who now have it. Hitchin brings forward. That's well held by Grossi. Well held. Come on, can we get to half time? Halfway there. Halfway there. The performance has been excellent. We should tell them how pleased we are. Yes, we are. We'll start again. Right, Nathan Kirkhoff. He's on a yellow. Well, has he been yellow carded already? Need to keep an eye on that. Smith comes forward for Hull. We head it back to him. Nathan now has an interception. Beautiful ball to Campbell. Campbell, you gonna have a pop from there? He is. Oh, I made Manier. Manier. React to it. Uh, Nathan, you, are you playing well? Nathan, you're eight point. You're playing too well to be taken off. Maxwell can come off the Rhino. Switch him and. Mm, okay, we will leave it as that. Um, Boom, you can come off for a bit. Kirkhoff, that's the chap I need to bring off. Keep forgetting. The yellow card needs to come off. Can't risk him being sent off now. I just hope it doesn't happen now. Fantastic <laughs> case. Unbelievable. It's going to make the last 10 minutes interesting. 
Come on, Grassy. Clean sheet, stand and be counted. Come on. Luckily, we're only with two nil up. Clough. Oh, that's unlucky. Good penalty into the corner. Zach Clough. Trots up at side, foots it with his heel. Mm. Oh, here they come again. Oh, this isn't looking good. Lesniak pumps it up. Donnelly. Get rid. Pass it. Lesniak over to field. To Lesniak. Donnelly. Oh, this is better. This could be, oh, this could be a goal. Overlap. Cross in. <laughs> is that burn? He should have buried it. Lesniak with a corner. Come on. We've had 11 corners. Are we going to get there? Come on, Campbell. You can get there. Dicky. Okay, end of highlight. Oh, come on. Five minutes to go. <sighs> Waiting for the referee to blow there. Clough brings it back in to read. Rolls. Oh. Oh, come on. What on earth? Rawls has it, plays it in. He just stands there and plays it wide. Did he actually play that wide? Virtually all our defenders in there, right? Oh, come on, not a third one. This is going to be a ridiculous. Get it out. Tackle. Bring it forward. Rhino, come on, Digby. Out wide to Dicky. Come on, this time. Dicky, I'd rather have you in the middle, really, than out wide. Lesniak. Rhino, come on, two minutes to go. Don't lose it. Minute to go. Come on, can we hold him? Oh, come, where are they finding the gap? You're having a giraffe. Yeah. You're having a laugh, seriously. Ten minutes to go and we concede three goals. Wow. Well, can we get one now? Can we get one? But Well, what do I say? Two defeats this episode. Not happy. Disappointing. Disappointing, seriously. We were 3 0 up with 10 minutes to go. <sighs> Played well up to that point as well. Well, this episode couldn't have got any worse, could it? 2 0 up with 10. I, I don't expect to lose from that position. I just I'm 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 speechless. I'm I really am speechless. Right. Well, after a run of form, look at that. Long run. Right now we only have um, the league to play for now. We have got the Derby Day game coming up, but um, where are Forest? Just out of interest near there it could be our chance to beat them this time maybe what we're going to do we're going to come back for the Brentford Ipswich back here and we'll play them a few games there including the Derby as much as I like to show it it's not going to have that much of beer in early that we may keep our uh, playoff place um, I think it'd be more interesting from halfway down onwards so the next game will be Brentford at home. If you enjoyed that video, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Still can't get over we lost. 2-0 up. <laughs>